Good evening. Um, today I'm going to be doing a presentation of identifying myself and identifying an object that represents me and describing how we're similar and how we're different and the overall story of the object and where it came from, where it originated, everything like that. I do apologize that I do not have an audience for this presentation. Um, it was due to poor planning, poor time management. Uh, any video entry will not be like this, but I did still want to do the presentation and be a part of the assignment. But um, to get right into things, this is the object that I chose and it kind of seems rare and odd that I chose a rock, but that's the whole point behind the story is that there's, it's something that's different and unique to me and that makes me who I am very different and unique and out of the ordinary so when people come into my home and they see my room and they just see a rock sitting there it's always kind of funny to just describe why I have it in my room the story behind it and I wouldn't normally go into the amount of detail that I'm about to go into when describing what this is and what it means to me but that's why I like this assignment is because I really get to dive deep into something that is part of my life and it may be so small but I really got to unfold certain parts that I didn't know about this rock until really like starting to think about it but this is a rock that I got on a hike that I went to in Colorado for a group mission trip type thing and it it really it was a very hard hike and a lot of people weren't ready for it. A lot of people um, weren't mentally or physically prepared, including me. I was very nervous to go on it. It was 14,000 feet up and it was a pretty strenuous hike, but I was nervous to do it, but I still did do it. And when I made it to the top, it was truly one of the most like invigorating feelings I've ever felt. And just knowing that I did do that and that I did climb that mountain and I was able to even though I wasn't mentally ready for it it was just an awesome feeling and I wanted something to take back other than that feeling something physical that I could take home so I didn't want a t-shirt or something that said I hiked this mountain I wanted something real and raw that reminded me of the experience so when I got up there I just looked down at the first thing I saw and it was this rock and I picked it up and I just put it in my pocket and I was going to wait to look at it and really look at it until I got home and when I got home and looked at it I just started to think like this is very dull rock it, it looks like any rock I could find outside like why didn't I try to find something that was more beautiful or more meaningful but then really thinking about the meaning behind this rock and how I just instinctively picked it up and wanted to bring it back with me had to show some sort of value and some sort of meaning behind it and I feel like that is how this is similar to me in a way is because as humans we all sort of think that we could be insignificant at certain points because there's so many of us there's so many people on this world on this planet just everyone is doing their own thing and everyone is living their own lives and you just can start to develop the idea that you aren't as important because there's so many but every single person is unique in their own way and different and that's like this rock how it is different and unique it has a different structure than any other rock that's out there and it came from a cool place and it has a story behind it and that's why I find it valuable but it, it gave me some humility and it humbled me on the fact that we can either make ourselves out to be more important or less important than we actually are and I find that there's peace in knowing that one rock versus many rocks, many rocks put together built something so beautiful. So working together as humans can create something out to be magical. Like working in a building with thousands of people can make Wall Street or working together in a community to do volunteering for other people can create such a good outcome. It just one small impact can create something so cool. That's what I love about that rock. And that's what I found out when I really 
put some more thought and put some deeper thought into this project and this assignment. Um, something that describes me, it's really hard to find something in my room or something that I own that just truly described me, but I automatically levitated towards the rock because it just has such a cool past towards it. Now, I feel that there are differences between me and the rock, one being I'm human, the rock is not. But also, the rock and I have different stories and upbringings. I come from a completely different place. I don't know how the rock got on top of the mountain, but it had to have gone through a whole lifespan of changes in the earth moving and just cracks in the earth to be where it was placed. But the same thing applies to me where I was placed on the earth, but both for different reasons. And I feel that um, with that, as humans, we're able to choose our paths and lives and we get the opportunity and the blessing to move and change. And with objects like this, a rock, it, you can't and you're stuck in one place for a certain amount of time. And I find that it's cool that I chose that and I moved it. But I don't know. I feel that with where I go, the rock goes. But with where I went, I sought it out and it it gave me perspective in different aspects. But I was able to leave that journey with with something, something different and something kind of odd and strange, but it still gave me a sense of peace and gave me a sense of peace describing it in this presentation. And I, yeah. So in conclusion, I wanted to apologize again for not having an audience and for this being a slightly rough, presentation but um yeah thank you